And welcome back to another edition of the Yodelcast. I am Doc Lettuce, and I will be solo hosting this matchup for you tonight. We will be watching Team Egocentric, the 10th seed, facing off against VUP, Vex Ubiquity Project, the 12th seed, in the third round loser bracket matchup. The winner of this matchup will go on to face Area 51, the famed team that was just knocked out by Tau of Tribe. And uh, hopefully here we're going to have a game that rivals what just happened. Probably won't, but, you know, we could always help. Just going to do a quick roster rundown for you guys here. On Five, Team Blood four, Eagle, we have Egocentric, three, Running, two, Acronym, M-Star, Small Kiwi, Adip, David Bowie, Meat.org, and Sweetness. And for VUP, currently only running six players. Probably something going up there. Hopefully they get a seventh one in soon. Uh, we have Tebo, Fubar, Dissection, Root, Odeo, and Dark VUP. This is a best of three series. We will be playing Catabatic first, followed by Arx Novena second. And I am unfortunately not sure what the third round matchup is, but with my prediction, I don't think we're going to need it. We have quite a few big names there for Team Egocentric and... Not as many. Oh, there we go. Seventh member, uh, Vaxis, quickly there for VUP. And uh, we don't have that many big names there for VUP, so I'm expecting a fairly quick matchup, but I'm always ready to be surprised. We're just going to take a quick look at David Bowie here, running the capping, main capping here for Egocentric. Uh, not really much clearing going on there, and he does go down really quickly to Tebo. Uh, but Adip is there to pick it up. He is going to probably just pump this off. He is going down to about 1,100, gets a Nitron there, just drops it pretty lamely in the field. He is picking it back up again. He is get taken out. Friendly Fire is enabled there. He did get taken out by his teammate, Small Kiwi. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick little attempt there. There was very little clearing, and unfortunately, nothing came out of it. So about a minute in, I'm just going to go over the rules really quickly for you guys. Uh, we are playing with the CSN rules. This is the CSN $2,500 tournament. That means there is 100% Friendly Fire. Uh, so you can obviously kill your own teammates, as well as damage any deployables that may be set out. Only one Shrike uh, and one tank per team at inflated prices. The Shrike does cost 9,000 credits. The tank does cost 6,000, I believe. Uh, we just had a quick grab there by David Bowie. I'm sorry I missed it. Uh, Adip did go in there for the continuation grab, but nothing really coming of this. There's no one here to do anything with it, so... Uh, back to the rules, then. Uh, grab cycles, I think there's two allowed per team, but no one ever really uses those, so that's not really worth mentioning. Uh, you are not allowed to use the Jackal and the Plasma Gun. I feel like there's a third one that's not allowed, but I can't remember at this point in time. Ah, yes, Whiteouts. You cannot use Whiteouts either for this tournament because they are currently bugged, uh, so those are banned. But otherwise, everything else goes. Uh, there is no class limit, so we do actually see... Egocentric here running with an O Sniper uh, acronym, as well as Sweetness playing the more defensive sniper role here. You can see he's already spotted Root over there. He's getting a little beat on him. Uh, they are only running one capper from what I can tell for VUP. Uh, so their clearing is going to need to be good. We do see Sweetness there picking off Root a little bit. Uh, David Bowie has a grab for Egocentric on the other side. Root coming in there, does make the grab. He is getting out with about 250. He's down to about 157 health. This is all on Sweetness to make a shot now. He is missing. David Bowie is back at his base. Oh, finally Sweetness makes the shot. It is going to drop on this side of the field. Acronym is fairly close by, but otherwise there's not really anyone to pick it up. They could get this grab, but we're going to go watch David Bowie, who is down to 9 health. But all of his chasers were just killed off, so... He's going to be able to toss this off. Small Kiwi coming in for the return. There's the return, making it 1-0 for Egocentric. So far, going pretty much as expected. Uh, took a little bit longer for that capper to die than I thought it would with the minimal amount of clearing, but it's a good start for VUP to at least get the flag off the stand, and they got it fairly far, but they need someone to either go escort or, you know, do a little bit more clearing so that he gets out with a little more health. We see Dissection there, for example, going and doing a little bit of distraction there on M Star and their gens are down so that force field's not a problem but root as we hope can see here is just starting his route so it's fairly useless on the other side we see David Bowie coming in here for a route a little bit of O sniping going on but that's not going to bother them as he goes down pretty quickly to Tebo and they need to pick up the offense on that side too there was a little coordination small key was just taken out in the midfield there uh, pretty much emphasizing their problems uh, Adip is here but once again, the capper's dead. He's got no one to come with him, so he's like, ah, whatever, I'm going to just go for the gens. And that's probably what he's going to do. I don't see any need, really, apart from the base turrets, but hey, taking out the gens is never really a bad idea. So both teams are resetting here. Uh, 
And I'm going to talk a little bit about this O Sniper here. Oh, come on. This O Sniper that it will eventually let me target. Okay, it will not let me target him. I will go look at him manually then. There we go. So, we saw Egocentric running the two sniper variation beforehand on Catabatic, and it didn't actually work so well for them. The difference here is Acronym's actually running with a phase rifle, uh, which I believe has quite a bit less fall off. You see David Bowie go try and go in there for a uh, run, but very little distraction going on, so he was taken out. And the flag's just going to sit there in the field. But with the phase rifle, he's able to do a lot more harassing uh, compared to Kanak, who was using the BTX. Uh, in the meantime, though, Root did manage to get a little bit of a grab off there. He did just get chained down, so I'm assuming he either took a lot of damage from that force field that's up on the flag, or Sweetness managed to get a couple key snipes in, which it looks like he probably did here. Be oh, my apologies. Uh, with Sweetness running here, he's able to get all the routes that come in roughly through here, which are basically all of the back-to-front routes. Uh, and I've only seen Root run those so far, so... Unless they change it up, Sweetness sitting there is going to be very useful. You see Root is coming in there again. Sweetness is already going to have a beat on him. There you go, he's just spotted him. And this is going to be a problem. If he manages to pit... Oh, well, maybe he hasn't, but... He, he has a really great angle. It's going to be a simple front-to-back uh, shot. It's not going to be an issue. He should be able to do them without any problems. There's no The hardest shots for the sniper to make are obviously the side-to-side. -side. And now it should just be a straightforward shot, so... I expect Root to take a couple snipes here, but Sweetness is missing horribly. He is getting out with great speed, 270. He's going to make it over the hill. This could potentially be a tying cap. He's still got pretty much full health, so it's all on Ego now to make an E-grab or do some sort of clutch return. There we go. Ate it making a nice little grab. We're going to go follow him for a second. He is running in a Raider with a shield pack. Uh, he does get taken out, but on the other side, there we go. Root did get taken out there by... or did take out David Bowie, but also had to drop the flag. I believe he got Nitron, and both flags did get returned there. I believe a small Kiwi there with a return. So some nice little Nitron catch-up play there by David Bowie, breaking off from his normal capping run to go ahead and try and get that return, but that was a lot closer for Egocentric than it should have been. I think Sweetness was making a couple mistakes there. I'm surprised they didn't spot him, and he didn't take a couple pot shots earlier because I really thought he had, uh, but for whatever reason, he didn't, and that allowed Root to get in, and with some good clearing, he got out with pretty much full health. So a little bit better organization for VUP on the defense, and they would have tied this game up one, one to one. We see Sweetness here. We see Root coming in there. It, does he have him spotted? It looks like this time he actually does. Oh, my apologies again for that. I don't know why he keeps doing that. I'm just going to zoom back here really quickly. There we go. So, yeah, Sweetness definitely sees him this time, so it's going to be a lot harder for uh, Root to run this route. He does get a, a nice little distracting shot off, but he is down to 400 health already, and there we go. There's a good snipe there from Sweetness. And in the meantime, David Bowie did manage to get out with a little bit of a front-to-back route. He's not going very fast, only 200. I'm not sure what route he's running. I'm going to follow him next time. But he does have full health, so the clearing must have been spot on. A good sniper shot manages to take him down to 600, but... His flag is about to be returned. Someone did manage to get the E-grab, but he wasn't going anywhere. David Bowie with the another cap, making it 2-0. I'm going to have to go watch him now, because I'm curious to see what route he ran. Because he was going fairly slow. But uh, that's some good distracting there from Egocentric. Uh, it bodes well for them, because they really need to warm up. using. They need to use this game to warm up for their matchup with Area 51, because that's going to be an epic match. And I'm hoping that one goes a full three overtimes and brings you a lot. And actually, Root here is changing up his routes, which is good for him. We're going to go follow him really quick just to see what happens. But unfortunately, he was spotted by David Bowie, and there is a force field there. He's going to go down. Yeah, nothing really happening there. So back to Bowie. He is running the standard route so far, but it looks like he is going to change it up here. Mm. Mm, yeah, okay, this is an interesting variation. It's a little bit slower than I think he would like. He's down to 400 health already. I wonder if he took a pot shot from a sniper. Yeah, he's down to 165. He's messed up this route completely. Uh, but Small Kiwi and Adip are there, so they're probably going to go for more of a punt strategy. Yep, Adip is going to grab it. He does get Nitron, though. So the flag is going to be down on the field. Oh, and it gets returned. I thought Adip had it there, but maybe you, a lack of reach and reach on the defender's part helped, uh, helped get that back because I thought I saw him run over at first, but... He probably just would have punted it, and I didn't really see anyone in the midfield that would have been there to pick it up, so it most likely would have been returned anyway. Um, as far as this O Sniper goes, I haven't seen him have too much of an effect, but then again, Egocentric is up 2-0, so he has at least had some sort of distracting effect. We can see they're all 
hovering pretty low, which should make it a lot easier for Egocentric to get some good DMing in. Uh, they don't have anyone here at the moment, but... Well, yeah, that's that's going to be very useful. Especially if the Hoff can stay at half health, because then they don't have to pay much attention to him. You see Kiwi's coming in here now. He's throwing a nice little grenade there. Two grenades are going to do some serious damage to that Hoff. The Hoff does go down just as David Bowie comes flying in. That was great distraction there. Good job from Small Kiwi hiding himself in the base. David Bowie getting out with about 250 health. Uh, the snipes did come in, but they missed, so he's getting back pretty much free with 700 health left. He's losing a lot of speed here, but it is going to be enough. Dissection coming in here to try and cut him off, but all alone, I just don't see him even catching up to him at this point. This is probably going to be the 3-0 cap. Root coming in here at the last second to try and make a grab. Doesn't manage to get it, but he does get a nice grab off in the meantime. He is going about 250, which is a little slower than he would have liked. Adip made a continuation grab for Egocentric, but he was taken down. Root is down to about 159. He's got to contend with the two snipers coming out of him now. He is still going about 250. He does have someone in here to escort him. He might make it home this time. His flag is at the base. They need to crash the stand and see if they can get a grab off. But no, he is down to 24 health. A good snipe coming in. He's probably going to get this cap here. There we go. 3-1. to one. Good job, Root. So that was a nice grab to see there. Uh, he said even though he didn't manage to get the E-grab, he managed to get a, uh, a good grab off. Got home surprisingly so with two snipers. Uh, and managed to neutralize the cap that they just lost. So props to Root. That was some, that was well done. Uh, there wasn't much distraction, but I guess uh, when a capper's coming in, that's a distraction enough as they were focused on making sure they got that cap and they weren't focused on dealing with Root. So here we go. We're back to a, only a two-cap lead uh, with just about four, we're just about hitting the 14-minute mark, which means 11 minutes have gone and we're 14 to go. David Bowie coming in here for the grab. He tried to sidestep Tebo, but... Tebo was busy backing up without even really looking at him, and, well, he just sort of ran into him, but he didn't die, so I have to examine Tebo here and see if he's, he is indeed using the super heavy perk. I'm kind of surprised that David Bowie survived that, but maybe he didn't. I thought he suicided, but I could be wrong. It could have been that he, it was a delayed death, and I just missaw it. It does occasionally happen to me, I must say. Let's go fall the fastest player. All right, David Bowie, not going fast at all, but... Sorry, right, he's going to be running this route again. He seems to like this route quite a bit. He's just going to go along here. He might even Nitron. I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. There's a Nitron. He's just going to float right in next to the tower, swoop in. Small Kiwi and Adip there are doing some good distraction. Tebo is taken down. No one on the stand. This is going to be a clean grab. Will the sniper be able to do anything? You see, you think that's Fubar is their sniper. Yes, he gets a good snipe off, bringing him down to about 524, but that's not going to be enough. They need to do some other stuff. He's at about 240. Making it over this hill here, and it doesn't look like anyone's really going to be able to do anything. Odio was trying to chain gun him down. Vaxus is there, but skied a bit too far. He's not going to be able to cut him off. They need to get an E-grab here. No, everyone just simply went down. Odio didn't manage to do it. Root is getting ready. He is on a route, and there is no one on the stand. He should be able to get a grab off here, but two snipes did come in. Three snipes. Good sniper defensive positions there. It looks like acronym for whatever reason, was ready. Uh, anyway, eight up here with the continuation grab, but no one was there for the punt, even if he'd punted it, and so he went down. Uh, it looked like Acronym had died there, or had killed out, and was ready there to defend and help snipe, and it worked out really well because they managed to... He, he got two shots off on route, or, sorry, on route, running his route. <laughs> Try saying that like 20 times fast. That wouldn't be fun. But anyway, uh, Root was running his... Root was running his route, and Acronym was the one that got two shots off on him, which is a good 700 damage or so with the speed he was shooting him at. So that really helped save his team a potential, uh, another cap for VUP. But uh, we see David Bowie coming here for possibly the final cap. He is going to get the grab off, 705. The sniper's not in position at all. He was not expecting that route, I think, and he's got 240. More than halfway home, not really any chasing coming in here. I think they're probably just going to give up this cap and say that's it. Uh, looks like Dark VUP is coming in here to try and make some sort of E-grab, but he's going a bit too high. He's not going to make it in time. David Bowie is going to get in here just in time. And there we go. There's the 5-1. to one. Fairly fast-paced map. Uh, so 5-1. to one. Egocentric is up 1-0 to zero in this best of three series. We will be moving on to Arx Novena which I believe was VUP's choice, uh, which is should hopefully be a little bit more... They should be a slightly better at, because we saw some good things out of them. They managed to get a good cap off. Uh, Root definitely has some good routes, and yes, I will keep saying that for the rest of the night. Um, and hopefully uh, we'll see maybe a bit of a closer game, maybe a 5-4 or 5-3 on, on Arx Novena. So overall thoughts, it's pretty much went 
the same way that we expected here. Uh, Egocentric took this fairly easily. There wasn't too much to worry about. Uh, their defense was a little bit shaky at times. Some good offense there by Root. Managed to get a couple caps in, but uh, yeah, overall they took it 5-1 to one in a fairly straightforward game. Never really looked like they were going to lose it. So thank you all for tuning in to this map one. Uh, hope provided map two is not over 15 minutes long, it will be up about 10-15 minutes after this map is up. Otherwise, it may take a little bit longer until YouTube fixes their problems. So once again, thank you everyone for watching. This has been the Yodelcast. I am Doc Lettuce. Map 2 will be up shortly.